Well, good morning, folks. This is a video that I didn't, I didn't plan on making, so this is a bonus trip for me. Because just a week ago, I was scraping snow and ice off my truck, and today it is. I am going to show you the temperature. I don't know if you can see that down in there. 72 degrees. That's right. 72 degrees. So it's been like this for about four days now, five days. Um, so I took advantage of the first couple of days. I got some stuff done around the house that I didn't get done during the summer uh, because of camping, working, rain, because uh, some of it was painting and staining. And so I decided the other night, you know what? We're going to have good days before I got to go back to work. So I'm going to get my camping stuff back out. Got my kayak up on the roof. And I'm heading up to Mountain Pond. It's a place that I was going to check out earlier this summer. But because of weather, I didn't get there. Um, but here it is in November. You know, November 9th. I'm going kayaking. This is the first time that I've been able to kayak in November. So follow along. folks welcome back to the channel this is the pond mountain pond that uh, I was gonna paddle earlier this year but the weather was horrible I mean the wind was absolutely frantic the day that I came here and uh, so I spent I used the day checking out campsites here and so I decided this is one of the places I wanted to put on my list for 2021 but here it is in November 72 degrees outside and why not take advantage after finishing up some chores at the house um, you can see that I have my PFD on because in New York from November 1st to May 1st you must have your PFD on and I also have on underneath, I have my dry suit, uh, my wetsuit on underneath. And uh, the wetsuit is, uh, the water is cold. It's probably about 50 degrees. So that's enough to send you into hypothermia if you fall in. So in this type of water, if something should happen, I mean, it is so calm out here. And unless some big fish comes up and knocks me over, I don't know. But anyways, anything could happen. Anyways, the, uh, the wetsuit will give me a couple more minutes. But this is absolutely fantastic. I'm seeing, I mean, right, right over this way, there's a camper. Somebody has a camper here. There's a couple of fly fishermen over this way. They are taking advantage of the uh, nice weather too. So I have found a campsite that I will be setting up in um, later after I get done paddling here. This is not a huge body of water, but it's just so nice back here. And um, this was such a spur of the moment type deal that uh, I really didn't get to do my homework on it to see if there are any significant history with this. I do know the road that goes next to it is the old, um, the old military road. You know, back in the early 1800s, most of the roads were built by the military and uh, Route 30 is an old military road. Um, so they, uh, I know that is part of it because it's still got pavement on some of it. But uh, it is just absolutely nice back here. Um, you know, so since I didn't do my due diligence of checking up on this pond to see what kind of history it has, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, people ask me all the time you know, I'm, a, I'm still a young guy. I'm 51 years old. And that uh, I spent 30 years in emergency services and I'm uh, still part of it. But 
I kind of abruptly walked away from the chief position. Um, I was in line for a promotion and I declined it because so I can go out and do this. And, you know, a lot of people have said, why, why'd you give it up? And I mean, just look at this. What I have found by doing this over the last few years, and I've been going out pretty steadily since 2013. Um, I've had a camper for many years, 24 years I've had a camper, so I've gone out many times, but I started kayaking about 2014 or 15. And this is absolutely, you know, what somebody needs, what it's what I need to keep me center, you know, keep, keep me on that center line because just getting out and doing this and it is so nice out here. It's just what I would like to do. And, you know, if you have the means, I'm still working, but uh, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm 51, I'm hoping by 57 to 59, I'll be able to retire and do this full time, travel around the country and do this full time. So, but uh, it's absolutely gorgeous up here. I'm gonna soak this in a little bit. I'm gonna dry, paddle around. Like I said, it's not a huge pond, but uh, I'm gonna paddle, paddle around and see what I can see. This is my site right here on Mountain Pond. Mountain Pond is up in the Debar Wilderness. I got the truck camper all set up. Plenty of blankets, I hope. It shouldn't get too cold tonight in my kitchen. Over this way, there's the kayak, and I got my fire going over here. So Mountain Pond isn't far off Route 30. You can actually hear the cars when they go by over here on this site it's not it's not that far off in route 30 but we'll turn around here so you can see the pond the road actually goes along the pond over this way and goes over and there's three more sites over there i found a paddle up site today but uh i think the water's low a lot lower since the last time i was here but um other than a squirrel yelling at me as I paddled by. I have seen no wildlife. Uh, matter of fact, there goes a bat. Isn't that freaking wonderful? But anyways, the uh, I see more people today. There was a couple guys out there fishing, and uh, there's a camper set up on the far side, and there was a fat gentleman over here fishing fishing earlier. And uh, I had a visitor here earlier, a couple people stopped by and wanted to check out the sites. 
but uh yeah it's not bad i'm in my t-shirt this is november 9th this is a bonus trip for me and um it's probably right now about 60 degrees five o'clock in the afternoon i do have my extra blankets in case it does get chilly you know the last time uh, i went out with the truck camper was axton landed and it got down 28 degrees that night and it was another failure with the buddy heater in the back of the truck so i don't have any kind of heat source anymore other than the blanket and it's not supposed to be bad tonight it's supposed to be between 45 and 50 so that that's that's pretty good sleeping weather right there but i'm gonna make my dinner and sit by my fire i'll give you an update later well everybody welcome back this well, until recently, it's uh Oh, well, I don't know what time it is. Probably about 10 o'clock or so. It's a nice, calm night. And this is my Netflix and chill right here. So, got my twisted tea, my lawn chair, nice little fire going. My truck, kitchen, and uh, it is very, very calm out here unbelievably calm there's no ripples in the water there's no breeze not a cloud in the sky there's tons of stars that the camera's not going to pick up on but but i'm going to finish watching my movie and then get tucked away video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel to follow the adventure thanks for joining